Well, hello everybody. This is Chris with Cafe Sola trying to find drive on the stick shift. Just leaving church and wanted to um, just let y'all know latest news is uh, once again recommissioned I guess not it is a commissioning but it's a recommissioning that we do every year here at the church for all the Bible uh, teachers so they went through the commissioning process again today and that makes it I think if I'm Remembering correctly, the t beginning of my 21st year as a uh, lay Bible teacher, and uh, very exciting. It's it's mostly scary to me. I'll tell you, <laughs> year after year, it's kind of like I used to do some acting many years ago. You probably can't tell, but um, I used to do a little theater and a little little acting, and uh, there was always this healthy fear, this healthy dread, uh, right before you went on stage. Will you remember your lines? Will you stay, hit your marks? Will you, uh, will the audience like what you're going to do? That kind of thing. And for me, with Bible class, oh, hey, I should put my seatbelt on. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Um, for me, with Bible class, I, there's just no... No way to describe it, but it's really kind of a matter of, um, you know, the Bible talks about not many of you should presume to be teachers, and you'll be judged more harshly, and you have to be able to rightly handle the word of truth. And in part of the commissioning process is that, you know, will you be dedicated to study? Will you uh, be faithful in your knowledge and use of the Bible, but also of the small catechism particularly, and I would say the confession general and that means there's a commitment there's a strong commitment to not just waking up uh, on Saturday morning and winging it so uh, by the grace of God I find time every week to listen to some great podcasts many of whom you would know I tend to listen to issues etc there's some great preparing for Sunday morning stuff there and other things. And I listen to Table Talk Radio. That's probably the least helpful thing. Not just kidding. <laughs> but um, I also listen to almost everything Rev Fisk puts out. And I have to stop at this yellow light because that's what you're supposed to do. And then there's the Wolf Miller. Uh, he's, he's got some great YouTube and things out there. He's like the king of... Lutheran YouTubers, so I listen to his stuff. And since I'm teaching on one of his books right now, that's usually pretty helpful. And we're putting, we're doing the whole Has American Christianity Failed thing. I'm trying to come up with a fancy name for the podcast so it's not just, hey, here's Cafe Solo Podcast number five or six or 90 or whatever. So if you all had any ideas as to what would be a good name for a podcast that's specifically a book study of Pastor Wolf Miller's book, Has American Christianity Failed? I would appreciate if you'd leave it in the comments, either here on the YouTubes or on Facebook. And just uh, I'll take those under serious consideration. And who knows, I have some extra books hanging around. Maybe if whoever gives the best name and, and it gets used, I'll contact you and send you a, a, a book that I bought too many of. So uh, it's a Christian book. It's a Lutheran book. So that'll be good, right? Um, so that's it. My, the only idea that came to mind today for me, and you could tell me if you even like it or think it would be a good a good name for the podcast, is failure, not an option. And the reason that that popped into my head, of course, is has American Christianity failed? And the answer, of course, is yes. And everybody's included in that to some degree or another. So failure, it's not an option. You can't fail at Christianity. You have to keep Christ in Christianity and you have to keep the Word of God out there and you have to be faithful and true and able to handle it rightly and uh, anyway that's my thought if you have a better book idea please share it with me and I will give it great consideration 
that's it for now for this short little on the go podcast. This has been Chris with Cafe Sola, and you and I are on the go. Thank <laughs> you.